Welcome to my views and news, more news stories from Ethiopia for you. It's a challenge for me to stay in touch with you because uh, everything is blocked in Pakistan now. No internet, uh, no access to social media sites and apps. Military patrolling the streets uh, and protesters uh, storming military inst installations. Uh, it's like a chaos here uh, still. Uh, somehow I am in touch with you. I'll try my best to stay in touch with you. Uh, now, uh, from Ethiopia, we have uh, three new stories for you. First one is from Argo uh, Gajam border. If you remember, a few weeks ago in a video on uh, land. Uh, issue, uh, occupation of land uh, issue on Argo Gojam border. Now, an update for you while uh, Ethiopian armed groups are uh, resisting a disarmament by the regional government and people are backing the armed groups like Fano and former Amhara special force members. Tensions are far from over on uh, Argo Gujam board. Secondly, viewers, uh, yesterday, Romo Liberation Army, uh, in a statement uh, through its uh, spokesperson, Oda Rabi said that there was fighting in two zones uh, of the Oromia, where government forces had launched offensives on OLA positions. Now we have received details from another place where reportedly fighting erupted a few hours ago. And thirdly, words, when will election be held in Tigray? National Election Board of Ethiopia has made an announcement about holding of election in Tigray and in some other parts of Ethiopia where uh, 2021 national election was not held. Firstly, viewers, uh, Gojam uh, Ago Avi zone border. Ago Avi zone is inhabited mainly by Agos. Amharas live there as well. And Gajam uh, is inhabited by uh, Amharas. Agos have been complaining for years of uh, marginalization that their land is being annexed by Gajam authorities, Gajam government is backing uh, some groups in Gajam, uh, Fano, other militia members, they enter Ago Avi zone, they annex land by forts, people are being displaced from Ago Avi zone, farmers are being displaced, people from neighboring uh, Gajam zone are entering, they're being settled in Ago Avi zone. Uh, I did a video on that a few weeks ago. Now, an, an, an update for you. For the past uh, two weeks, again, tensions have been rising on Gojam Ago Avi zone border, West Gojam Ago Avi zone border. It is being claimed by some Agos that. Uh, People from Gajam are being sent, uh, they're being told to enter uh, Ayo Gugosa. Ayo Gugosa is in uh, Ago Avi zone. And uh, some localities, uh, in some localities, uh, land grabbing is happening reportedly. In Jibara and uh, the other one uh, from uh, this area is uh, Ehudit. In Injibara and in Ehudit, people from Gajam are being brought. They're being brought and settled here. So land is being annexed by Gajam authorities. Armed groups are being backed. And people, Ago was living in Injibara in Ehudit are being displaced, mostly farmers. So this issue of uh, tension between Agos and uh, other ethnic groups in Amharas is, uh, in Amhara is continuing. 
regional government uh, and uh, zonal governments uh, are accused by some Argo news sources that these governments are biased. They don't support Argos in case of uh, uh, confrontation uh, between Argos and uh, Amharas in Amhara region. Kemets are Argos too and uh, hundreds of Kemets, Argos, they uh, had to flee Amhara region. They are based in Sudan. They had to flee Amhara region and they are now based in Sudan. So at a crucial time when Amhara uprising is uh, being seen in the region, unity within the region is missing. Not only are the differences between different factions of the Amhara ethnic group, but the tensions uh, between Amhara and Agu uh, groups, uh, these tensions continue. We are seeing protests in Volo against Garmajishitala's assassination against Fano's involvement, you can say, alleged involvement. I'm not saying that uh, uh, their involvement has been confirmed. Uh, but in Gondar, in Gojam, we're seeing the people protesting in support of Fano, in support of former Amhara special force members. And they're denying the involvement of Fano fighters in uh, the assassination of Gamma Ishtila. So overall, unity is missing. Intra-Amhara unity and inter-Amhara, Amhara, Ago, Amhara, uh, uh, Oromo unity is missing in the Mahara region. Secondly, viewers, uh, despite start of talks between Ethiopian government, Oromo Liberation Army, fighting is ongoing. Uh, there was relative calm in Oromia region of Ethiopia before and during uh, the talks between the two sides. The two sides met in Tanzania where humanitarian dialogue, uh, a Geneva-based organization is playing a key role in the resolution of armed conflict in Oromia. Uh, around 48 hours ago, OLS spokesperson Oda Turby said that the security forces, government forces had launched two attacks on OLS positions in West and East Sheva. He shared some details. Four uh, security officials were shown, government security officials who had been captured by Oromo Liberation Army in East Sheva reportedly. Now we have received details of another incident of uh, fighting between the two sides. It happened in West Shagar. Uh, Shukoti is the name of the town where last night there was heavy fighting between uh, the two sides, West Shagar to the west of Addis Ababa, Ethiopian capital. Uh, Ethiopian government, Roman regional government, they are silent. They have not responded to OLA's uh, uh, the statement that government forces uh, have launched attacks on OLA's positions. Uh, but fighting is being confirmed by several sources. Can we say the talks have totally collapsed? Difficult to say, but uh, things are not looking good. Uh, these uh, uh, skirmishes, this small scale fighting can turn into large scale fighting, especially when we know that uh, Ethiopian army is still in Romia. No large scale withdrawal of the army has been seen despite start of talks. So both sides uh, holding on to their positions and new skirmishes starting. Thirdly, viewers, when will election be held in Tigray? Uh, National Election Board of Ethiopia has made an announcement about holding of election in Tigray and other parts of Ethiopia where 2021 election could not be held. When in 2021 election was held, general election was held in Ethiopia, it could not be held in all Ethiopian regions because of security issues. Uh, so now, including Tigray. So now the National Election Board of Ethiopia is making preparations for holding of election. Uh, the National Election Board of Ethiopia says that election will be held next year. Next year means next Ethiopian year, next year according to Ethiopian calendar. A new Ethiopian year will start after four, four and a half months. No exact date has been announced by uh, the election board about the election, uh, holding of election. In 2016, Ethiopian year, this election will be held in Tigray. 
in other parts of Ethiopia. And the election will be held for uh, House of People's Representatives, federal parliament. Election for regional parliament will also be held. Will the two be held on the same date uh, or on different dates? That remains to be seen. Uh, and it means that in the next four, five, six months, we could see major developments in Tigray because Tigray would like to take back Raya and Volkayet before the holding of election. Because if uh, election is not held in Raya and Volkayet, it would be uh, as if uh, Tigray has uh, accepted the status quo. Status quo means Raya Volkayet are under the control of Amhara forces. Amhara administration is uh, administering the two zones. That is why Tigray uh, officials, Tigray people in front, Tigray military, they want to take back Raya and Volkayet before holding of election. National Government of Ethiopia is making preparations for election next year. It means that in the next four to five months, six months, we could see major changes, uh, especially about the future status of Raya and Volkayet, which is a key issue, a thorny issue between Tigray and the Amhara regions of Ethiopia. Elections should be held as soon as possible. There must be representative government in Tigray because Geta Cho is interim uh, president uh, chosen by the party, chosen by uh, PM RB, of course, he is not a representative of the mandate of the people of, uh, of, of Tigray. Uh, a new mandate uh, should be given to someone, Gatacho, Debratsian, opposition parties, whoever the people uh, uh, wants to give the mandate to. Then the representative government should make decisions about uh, the future, about the administration in Tigray. I think for